don't forget to check out my website at notamakeupguru.yolasite.com. Check out Jeannie Mai's website at iheartgeniemai.com. And check out my newest portfolio website at wix.com backslash Nicole Reddy MUA backslash Nicole Reddy. I'll be sure to post the links to everything below. I love Jeannie Mai. I think her fashion sense is amazing. And if you don't know who Jeannie Mai is, then you should definitely start watching the show How Do I Look on Style Network. And it's more like a neutral eye, but she likes to play up her lips a lot. And I love that. And she really goes for the purple lip, like the bright purple lip. And it, I thought it was going to be kind of intimidating at the beginning, but it's not. So uh, here we go. So we're gonna start with the eyes, and I just created some neutral eyeshadows and a cat eye. And so I started off with this Inglot concealer because I couldn't find my primer, and it works just as well. So just a little dab and rub that all over your eye from that lash line all the way up to your brow bone. And if there's any extra left over, you can use it to uh, lighten up the, some darkness you have under your eye. So you're going to start with a flat shader brush and dip it into some neutral eye color It's with a little golden undertone and put that all over your lid. Afterwards, you're going to take a small domish shaped uh, flat shader brush into a red undertone brown and put that into your crease. Make sure you blend that really nicely into the crease. Afterwards, we're going to take another flat shader brush with a little bit of an angled tip and put that into a bluish undertone brown and put that right on top of the red undertone brown in the crease already. Afterwards, we're gonna take the natural color again and put that on the lid that's not covered in brown. And then some really nice jet black gel liner with a nice angled brush and make a cat eye. But make sure you keep checking the other eye so that the, the wings pretty much look similar. Afterwards, you're going to get to under the bottom lash line and set it all with black eyeshadow. I cannot stress this point enough because it helps the gel not move, not smudge, and stay really perfect. Well, nothing is ever perfect, but you know what I mean. Make sure you get it all over. Wherever you have gel liner, make sure you put the black eyeshadow. Then we're going to take a smaller brush and we're going to use this nice pink frosty color from Inglot on your brow bone and in the inner corners of your eyes. This is color 352 from Inglot and I really think it's a really nice highlight color. Afterwards, you're going to curl your lashes. Make sure you curl them really, really well. And you're going to use my favorite mascara, this Clinique High Impact Really Black Black Mascara. And I love it because it just makes my eyelashes look so beautiful. Then we're going to take this Inglot uh, eyeliner. I believe it's color 552. And it's my, it's a really nice um, soft black. Now on to the face. I'm using here a cool fan brush into my favorite bronzer which is Star Bronzer by Lancome and make your fishy face and just follow the natural contours of your face. Then you're going to take a blush brush into some coral blush and put that right on the apples of your cheeks but make sure that you just lightly dust it and you don't really put too much on. Now the lips. Take a really small lip brush and what I'm using now is this really cool grape colored lip paint from Inglot. It looks a little brown, but I promise you it's purpley grape. And it's in the color 69. And you're going to line your lips with it first, and then you're going to put it all over your lips. Then over that, you're going to put this really nice light purple color and mix it in. And you're done. Instant Genie My Fabulosity. <laughs> Music by Cascade, I like the way. And I just wanted to thank you all so much for watching and supporting my channel. And I hope you stay soon for more videos to come.